So what does it mean to be a citizen of heaven and a citizen of earth? Some people, when they hear the phrase citizens of heaven, just tend to think, oh well, one day we'll go off there and live there forever. Actually, when Paul uses that phrase, he certainly wouldn't have meant that, because in his world, the Roman world, when the Roman people created colonies out there in the wider Mediterranean world and said, you can be citizens, they had no intention that these people were going to come back to Rome, not a bit of it. The point of being a citizen of Rome, living in one of those colonies, was that you would bring Roman civilization to that colony. So somebody living in, say, Philippi or Corinth, both of which were Roman colonies, would be a citizen of Rome and a citizen of Corinth and would believe that their task was to bring the culture, the life, the influence, the legal system of Rome to bear upon the other place of which they were citizens, namely Corinth or Philippi or wherever it was. Now, put that into the position of heaven and earth. We are citizens of heaven, but we are resident on earth and citizens of it, but we are not supposed to be calling the tunes from where earth is. There are some people, sadly, who think that we should tell heaven to get its act together and simply tell us what we want to hear on earth, but in fact it should work the other way around. We should be people who are, like those Roman citizens, bringing the culture of heaven to wherever we happen to be stationed. The particular cultures, the particular places, but the broad culture of the human race as a whole. We are to be people who are so soaked in God's way of thinking, God's way of looking at the world, God's purposes for the world, that when we are in our own towns, our own villages, our own homes, in our own global ecosystem, we are bringing the values, the agendas of heaven to bear upon the life of earth.